YouTuber here. YouTubers all around. YouTubers all around. Well, guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Building the Fastest. Anyways, long due update on what's gonna happen with this thing. So, I'll tell you what's gonna happen. It's about to fall off the trailer. No, it won't. <laughs> Anyways, we're here at Grid, the home of premium motorsport. Sean is the man behind it. He's gonna be the head designer so to speak with my help so we're uh, just unloading the car put it in the workshop and then i'll run you through what the plan is that's a good one so the shell is unloaded and in here and as you can see i'm already wearing the working robe so First thing first, I took off the doors. They weigh an absolute metric ton. I completely forgot how heavy they were because literally for the past four years, I've been running fiberglass doors. Um, so the first order of business, I need to take the subframe off. So those stubborn bolts, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with them, either drill them out or cut them off or whatnot. Then the fuel tank needs to come off because obviously making a cage you don't want to have a fuel tank. Maybe it's even empty or whatever anyways. So we're going to swap because obviously I have a lift now, sort of. So this thing is going to come out. This thing going to go in there. And actually, I think I'm going to weigh this shell and see what it weighs. Because right now, as you can see, it's pretty much bare. So I will take the fuel tank off and I'll take the rear beam off. And then we'll be able to weigh it like this because I think that's pretty much your basic shell, isn't it? So I've actually taken the subframe off. Everything is pretty much off. The only thing left is the fuel tank. Fuel tank can come out a little bit later because I need the frame off. Also, all of this came out. So the shell is literally bare, bare shell. All we have is glass. Ideally need to take that off to weigh it, but we can weigh it afterwards. So I think now we are ready to weigh it. Have my scales here. Let's just lower it and see what's what. Moments later. Wow. Dolly probably weighs 50 So, 317 kilograms. No point looking at the weight distribution cross or whatever. We don't care about that. But I have to mention, it still has a dolly because it sits on a dolly. Because I couldn't really figure out how to put those under the shell by itself. I mean, theoretically, I could cut some wooden blocks so they, they hold it up but I will be able to actually I have to take the dolly out now because we need to take the fuel tank out so what I'll do I'll literally leave it as it is unhook the strap leave the body off and then we'll have the weight of the dolly smart eh not just a pretty face several bad puns late shell is off the dolly so now we have to look at the thing and decide well, not decide, it's subtract. What do you reckon? What the dolly is going to weigh? I'm going to say 30 kilograms. I'm going to say not even 50. I mean, aluminium is heavy. I'm going to say 40 kilograms. 40. Oh. So what, 20? 15. 15? I'm 30. 30? I'm saying 40. Let's have a look. Ha! Huh. It's 44 kilograms. Wow. It's heavier than even I thought. So, 44 kilograms, and the previous was 344. Really? Yeah. Jesus. So, it was 317, right? Yes. 317 minus 44. I was never good at maths. Same, <laughs> same, same. Get the phone out and then. Huh? No? So you can. So, 317 minus 44. Yeah. Uh, 273 kilograms. 273 kilograms. A bare shell, Clio Mark II sport shell. With glass. With, with glass, glass, steel with glass, and a fuel tank. But I think the kilos. and I think the fuel tank is empty. Most likely, it's empty, and it's plastic, so it doesn't really weigh much. Actually, I think I've weighted it before, and I think it was three kilograms or four kilograms for for plastic tank. Um, that's quite quite incredible. That is really, really, really light. All right, let's make it even lighter. Can we get it to 150 kilos? Probably not. We copy. Congratulations to the crew, the good ship, and everything. That's terrific. 